Tonight on The, the world's, world's Greatest Mysteries. Some have called it amazing, others incredible, many unbelievable. But tonight, we here at The World's, world's Greatest Mysteries, Mysteries will call it something no one has ever called it before. Incredible. The one and only eighth wonder of the world, the mysterious Temple Bell Tower, revealed on The, the World's, world's Greatest, Greatest Mysteries. Mysteries. Tonight! Aliens? Ancient cultures? Or perhaps a race of undiscovered yeti? Who is responsible for this landmark of Temple's campus? And even more importantly, what does it want? After decades of research, all we seem to know so far is that the bell, which first appeared at an unknown time during the mid-15th century, stands at the highest point on Temple's campus at an oddly specific 100 feet tall, or over 3,000 centimeters in height. Five bells inside of it can be traced back to an old Dutch farm, and while they seem to inexplicably ring the Westminster chimes every 15 minutes, like clockwork. A phenomenon? Sure. But should it raise cause for alarm? Due to its decidedly paranormal attributes, we've gone to local investigator and professor of the strange and abnormal, self-professed clairvoyant, Dr. Julian Todger. Dr. Todger, do you believe that there is any ordinary reason for an ancient and unusable tower to stand in the way of changing times here at Temple University? Well, no, I can't say that I condone the use of an otherwise useful and open area of any college campus that is being used to host a mystical creation such like the bell tower you've described to me. So you do believe that the bell tower is not from this earth? Well, I mean, isn't it obvious? Just look at the signs, man! From what you've described and what I've read about it in various scientific journals, the bell tower not only fits the characteristics of an abnormal presence in its size and age for its particular location, but the shocking radioactive levels it gives off should have been a sign from the beginning. For my final question, Doctor, I wonder, if the bell tower is such an unearthly manifestation, where do you suppose it came from? Oh, well, extraterrestrial beings, obviously. I mean, in the same reports that indicate high levels of radiation, it is also indicated that the tower is also a UFO hotspot, with several dozen of them being spotted on a yearly basis. Oh? Yes, actually, they're probably using it as some sort of landmark so they can point it out while traveling intergalactically through our atmosphere. Well, that would explain the height. Of course, this kind of landmarking, as we who make it our business call it, is nothing new. This is much like the case of many well-known tourist locations, such as the Grand Canyon or the Great Wall of China, for example. Well, but I thought the Great Wall of China was built to keep the Mongolians out. True, but the Mongolians were otherworldly beings who also introduced the horse to our planet, if my literature tells me anything. Oh. Well, you've convinced me. Thanks again, Doctor. Of course. And remember, watch the skies. And my new public access show at 8 a.m. Saturday mornings on PBS. Of course. Well, there you have it. Temple Bell Tower. Harmless artifact occupying the center of this college's main campus. More like celestial death trap for anyone within 100 yards. Yet, once again, we at the, the world's, world's greatest, greatest mysteries, mysteries have bumped another one off the list and have saved countless lives in the process. Tune in next week for our profile of the controversy surrounding the death of our late 20th president, James A. Garfield, one we know will personally touch all of you in your questions about the mysterious demise of this great man. Until then, this has been the, the world's, world's Greatest, greatest mysteries. mysteries. And remember, please keep watching our show. And by Colgate brand toothpaste, now without lead. 